What I think about a lot with employment law is you get an opportunity to see all the things that may go wrong, and many of them are probably related to soft skills. Sure. I, I could think of several in my mind. So tell me a little bit about what your experience is. You said you've been doing employment law your whole career. Many years, yeah. So you have lots of stories. We can't I do. go through all of them. I understand that. And, um, you know, I, I, I will say just anecdotally that um, many companies that do establish a positive culture, and with that, of course, um, you have to have good communication skills. Mm -hmm. Many of them are not the companies that face typical litigious mm -hmm. situations. It's not unheard of, but it's not typical. The ones, the companies that I represent um, that often have problems, and I won't name them, mm -hmm. are often companies where leadership is lacking or where it's perceived to be impersonal mm -hmm. or overly aggressive or not empathetic. And, you know, those, and again, in this Me Too era, where communications are sometimes exacerbated or projected um, as more severe than they were intended to be, um, can create problems, and then I get involved. And um, sometimes it's a little hard to sort of, you know, I'll put the genie back in the bottle, mm -hmm. and that, that's part of what I do. And I guess people have to tiptoe around the workplace.